So we've just made it back down from the Pinney where we found two Bushmasters, one last night and one this morning. We've grabbed Andy, we've grabbed a load of kit, got the anti-venom, snake bags, food, more water, and we're heading straight back up the Pinney to go and see if we can go and catch them. It's a long old way up there. We've already done it once in the last 24 hours. So it's gonna be interesting over the next couple of hours. It's a lot of climbing, but it's definitely gonna be worth it for one of the most fantastic snakes in the world. Bushmaster is one of South America's most incredible snakes, and it's only really outshadowed by the giant anaconda. And the reason why we're trekking up the Pinney this morning is because they're so rare, and they're difficult to find because of the way they're camouflaged. They're extremely dangerous looking with dragon-like scales, but we want to catch this guy and get some incredible footage and photographs so that we can share this epic snake with the rest of the world. So it's now quarter past 11. Lexi and I left the camp this morning at 7 o'clock. We've gone down, picked up Andy and Dan, and come all the way back up. And hopefully, these Bushmasters, at least one of them, are still going to be here. So, it was just about three yards out of camp. We're going to go around and have a quick look. Oh, it's not here. Where was he? He was literally right there well first one's not here a bit disappointing but uh, we're going to keep going up the hill the second one's even higher up so we're going to plow on and get to the top and just hope that he's there press is on now so he's just he's there he's down there where so you get this branch that's fallen underneath that through the back this is what's oh, yeah, yeah, crazy yeah, yeah. about these things. Yeah. Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Couldn't have picked a worse place. <laughs> Off the trail in all that <laughs> on a slope like this. <laughs> yes. Yes! So, it's not about like catching the this, this snake. It's not about them being dangerous or ex uh, like exciting and crazy like you see on TV all the time. It's about showing um, how amazing these things are. Uh, how incredible. I mean this this snake is essentially the jaguar of the, the reptile world here out in the Amazon and nobody knows about them. As long as we have a real respect for them then, then we're not going to get bitten. I hope. <laughs> My heart's going now boys. I can just get the tail to eat that. I've been not obliged. Stay there. Now we're in trouble. Stay there. Stay there. Stay for the minute where you are, guys. This is a big snake. Come on, nothing silly. You wouldn't stick. All right. Good girl. All right. Come on, now. nothing silly. My arm is boy. All right, I'm gonna to take her straight into the bag, yeah? Yep. We have a Bushmaster in the bag. Whoa, let's go. Nah, nah, fuck that. Nah. <laughs> it's just, just nerves. Oh, man. Good job, eh? Not a good finish to this year, eh? We're back at the lodge now, so we showered and changed, and the Bushmaster's in the box. She's nice and comfortable, but the, the data really starts now. We need to uh, weigh and measure this snake and get some information from her, and then in a couple of days' time, we're going to take her to the exact same location where we found her and release her. So, uh, yeah, it's attracted quite a crowd. A few people have come out. And that's why this date is so important, because we know almost nothing about these snakes, and we want to find out much, much more information. <laughs> so after showing all the volunteers and everybody outside the snake, we came in here to do the white boxing and it went amazingly well. The snake was so well behaved and the photographs are absolutely stunning from what I've seen so far. It's going to be a great showcase for such a magical species. So 
we're back up the Pinny Pinny just a couple of days later to bring our stunning Bushmaster back out into the wild and let it go. We've got some amazing pictures, we've done everything that we need to do. We are going to put her back and let her go on her way. Alright girl, you're on your own now. Sorry for messing around. 